good morning so today i'm going to be filming a video about alabama a and m i'm going to be giving you guys a tour of the school and what a couple of the buildings look like in the inside and we're going to do an outside tour of the campus so you guys can kind of get a feel for those who can't make it here but want to go here and want to know what it looks like so yeah so stay tuned and keep on watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this youtube video at the bus stop where it's at on the quad and right now we're riding past the English slash writing lab and that's called George Washington complex so as you see we're riding right on past that and we're gonna go up the hill and that's gonna take you to the boys side of the campus Now, as we're coming up on the hill, T.C. Parker is the English building. That's on your right-hand side. And we're going to continue to go up that hill. And the first dorm that we're going to come to is Hopkins. It used to be a male dorm. But as of right now, it is a female dorm. And um, it's a traditional style dorm. It's girls only. And there's about four floors. So the dorm that we're passing right now is a male's dorm, but it is not in use. And the dorm that's right next to it is Morris, which is a all-boys traditional dorm. And right next to it is going to be Stevens, and that is a all-boys traditional dorm as well. And right next to Stevens is Clyde Foster, also known as Foster, and that is a freshman co-ed suite style dorm and there's also a cafeteria inside of this dorm and again that is a co-ed dorm only for freshmen now we're passing the old basketball gym that we do not use anymore um, the band is known to practice behind that building and to use that building in that area for their practices and this dorm is Grayson Hall it is an old male traditional style dorm that hasn't been in use in a while but it still looks nice up on the hill on the guy side So as we ride down the promenade, we're passing the old cafeteria, which we don't use, and Big Pan, which was an all-girls traditional style dorm. And right now, we're passing the Greek stones, which would be on the right-hand side. This building is known as Bibbs Graves Building, which used to be an old history building and it's not in use at the moment. And on the left hand side of the street, you will see that we're passing the student center where you can buy sweaters and school supplies. And right on the right hand side, as we continue to go down the promenade, is the new history building where most history lectures are taking place. And as we keep on going, you will see Palmer Hall, which is a girl's traditional dorm. Right next to Palmer, we're coming across the Council Hall building, and that will be the Freshman Advisors Office, where freshmen will go to make their schedules. And as we continue to go down, the promenade on your right hand side you will see Terry Hall and that is also a girls traditional dorm as well as we come down the hill 
Knight Complex, also known as West, is on the right-hand side, which is an upperclassman co-ed suite-style dorm. And in the distance, you will see the new residence hall, which is also an upperclassman co-ed suite-style dorm as well. As you see, we are entering Night Complex. On the right is the subway, and on the left is the pod. And right now, we are about to enter the cafeteria, also known as the cab. As you can see, the cafeteria is a very open space. On the left hand side is the hibachi grill where they serve burgers during lunchtime. And in the middle is normally where the main course meal is. And on the right hand side is where they serve pizza. As you can see, the cafeteria is a grab and go at certain stations. And then at other certain stations, they will serve you. And in the middle of the cafeteria, we have a salad bar, and we also have a vegan station. I'm probably can't even. It's so cool. Please. Look at that, Harry. <laughs> As you can see on the left hand side is a better view of the subway and on the right hand side is a better view of the pod which is a mini grocery store for the campus. So right now we are in the back of night complex which is right next to the gym and the gym is where all the basketball games are going to be also known as Elmore Gym and then right across the street from Elmore Gym is the Lewis Crew Stadium which is where all the football games take place So we are approaching the LRC, which is also known as the library, and then we're going to make a right, and you're going to see the BMC, which is the MAD building that's also facing the quad, and the quad is basically a hangout area. And on your right hand side, you're going to see the art and the music building, and we're just going to cross the street where the new school of business building is. And that will conclude the tour of Alabama a and University. I hope that this video is very helpful for you guys and getting an idea of what the school looks like and what to expect if you're planning on attending this school. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.